ladies and gentlemen edward uh, once again from editech solutions uh, direct at fluffflight.com and direct uh, attainwork.com uh, direct uh, editech promotions.com look we have quite a number of websites and uh, you, know, you can go visit them i'll put the links below this video in the description so that you can have a look uh, if you're interested well today's video is going to be about how to extract and download images from any website i've made one video earlier earlier on on the same topic but i used one other tool so there is another tool which i got which seems to be like more effective you know the way the way the the, the room it gives you to extract pictures from a website i mean is much 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 more you know important than or as compared to other websites so like I told you, we pick out topics, uh, but again, as technology evolves, if we get a more simpler tool, we have to make a video on it so that you can switch. All right. Now, this is our website. The one you see right now is Editech Solution, Ed Marketing Solutions. It is our website, and this is our main website. It is the father website and mother websites of all our products. Okay. All right. So I'm going to head straight. I'm going to open my document here. Uh, here. And say the topic is going to be how to browse and download images from a web page or from any web page it depends on what you want let me put for any from any web page to give you maximum assurance and this uh, tutorial is going to be done by edward and this is the guy there edward sevumi my other name is edward sevumi all right so I'll minimize this one and then head to straight to how do we get to this tool. Okay, before I go there, let me try to scroll down. I think I have some documentation for this. Yeah, it says browse and download images on a web page. This is their content. I picked it. I put it here just to save to save time. So when you go to this Chrome extension, it is an extension, by the way, in Chrome. But I believe they have more extensions for other web browsers as well. But I take Chrome as a case study because I think statistics shows the biggest number is using Chrome. Okay, so if they say image downloader is not for sale and will always be free. It's an open source platform and without ads of tracking algorithms of any kind. You can find the source code here. They give you the source code from GitHub. Then what does it do? If you need to, to, to bulk download images from any web page with this extension, you can see images that you're going to download you can filter them by width. You can optionally show only images from the links. Select images to this to that. Use dedicated buttons. Uh, cast a lot of things. You know, the good thing with it is like it lists all the images and an image with a URL on top. So you can just get the URL, paste it in the browser, I mean, and then pick the image. Oh, there is a, a, even a, a download icon next to the to the URL. All right, let's see. I've already opened it here. You go to Chrome Web Store. How do you go to Chrome Web Store? Chrome Web Store is very easy. You can simply just open a new tab and say Chrome Web Store. You know, in this era of technology, you no longer have to put a lot of stuff in our brain. Like, remember this link? Remember? No, no. Just remember what it does. Oh, a name, uh, one name on each string. Simply, the search engines will pull it for you. Okay, now this is a Chrome extension. You just go to google.com, then put in the search Chrome Web Store. They will list on the first page or this, the search engine result page. And, and by the way, did you notice that uh, Google has also improved the, the icons here? Yeah, you can also take note. That is something which I've just put there. All right, now if you click on Chrome Web Store, it will open the same interface which I put the other side, which is, uh, where is my, that one? this one so this is Chrome Web Store then type search type search image downloader right so it has an icon of you know an arrow pointing down with a dash so because I've already added it here this is the same stuff here this is it here see so this is the information it's currently uh, sorry it's so cold so cold so cold here Currently, actually, this is called Medistar. Medistar, 
health care center. All right, this is version 2.42. It was updated on October 12th, 2018. Size is 3.97 KB and it is in English. Okay, here they give you some screenshots of, of how it shows, but you're going to see physically how it works. It has been used by 700, that number, 777-537 users, and uh, offered by Vilad Sabev. It seems to be a Russian. The name sounds like a Russian name, but it's okay. We can keep it at that. So that is about that, that, that extension. Simply put it in your Chrome, and then you'll find how it is very helpful. Now, let's see how it works. I just go to the browser, I get one site, for example, which site. Let me pick one of my websites, attainwork.com. Okay. If you open attainwork.com, let's see. Let's see what comes. Ah, I think my network is not good, but it's there. So this is the website. Now, this tool can help, uh, is more... Is of more use to developers, web developers, programmers, graphic designers, and uh, social media managers because you might need an image but you don't know where to get it. But you saw the image in a certain website. Use this tool, get the image, rebrand the image, and use the image. But make sure most images are subjected to copyright, so you should next you should take note and please respect copyright laws. Yeah, don't go against them. It is not a good habit. Yeah, all right. Now, once the, the, the site is open, you go to the Chrome extensions here, and then you click on it. Simply, it will scan through the website. That is me, actually. I was looking for that photo. Yeah, it, it shows you the favicon. It shows you the logo. When you pull down, it shows you all the images that in, are in the, in the website. So, if let's say, which image do we need? We need this image. I like this image. I can either go from here to open another tab or download it direct here or click here. If this is editable field, you can see I can control C this one, which is copy. If I copy, I paste from an, to another browser, still it will pull out that image. That copying to another browser is the same as clicking on open in a new tab. When you open in a new tab, that's it. Okay, so that is called image downloader it's a very powerful web uh, chrome extension i'll find out if all other web browsers have it like safari uh, uh, mozilla and uh, edge or explorer uh, anything that you use so please i'm going to end this video at this point i don't want to make very long videos i want to give you time to small time to enjoy this and uh, you can watch it over and over again and if you have questions you can put them in the description box don't forget the main important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel reason being you won't miss out on anything we take a lot of time to pick out tools that disturb people out there and we create videos on them so the only no, the only way you, you you will know is to subscribe and then after subscription there's a button next to there's a button next to to the subscription tab. It's, it's a bell. It's like a bell. Click on it. So it, it notifies you whenever we post a video. Thank you very much. I remain Edward Sevume. See you in the next video.